You're watching Morning Live. Thanks for being with us. If, uh, with us, if you've just joined us, welcome to the show. Now, criminal cases have been opened against government officials who were implicated in the procurement of blankets and personal protective equipment in KwaZulu Natal. The officials, who include the acting deputy director general and the chief financial officer at KZN Social Development Department, have also been suspended following a forensic investigation, which found irregular expenditure amounting to nearly. 30 million rand. So to give us an update on the situation and also some uh, further details and clarity, we're joined by Anontlan Koza, who's the KZN MEC for Social Development. MEC, thanks for your time. Welcome to Morning Live. Thanks for having me. Greetings to you and your viewers at home. MEC, what exactly were the irregularities uh, with regard to procurement and how uh, were the funds exactly abused? Thank you so much. Uh, before we get into that, uh, we want to send our deepest condolences to those who have lost their loved ones during the night, especially have lost one of the pills. Uh, the acting chief director, one of the acting chief directors who have succumbed to the COVID-19. Uh, it is a, a great loss to us and a, a, a quite a setback to the department. Uh, as of now, we have, uh, in a, the, we need to go into the report of the e e investigation and the recommendations of the uh, report uh, make us just to, 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 as a department, to get into disciplinary processes uh, of the implicated uh, employees. Uh, as of now, the, what have been the irregularities affect uh, there were a number of Regularities, especially if you look at the blankets procurement and his procurement. Uh, one, uh, the, what transpired is that there were no needs analysis which were uh, done, and there was the invoicing of the department of goods which had no, were not delivered as yet. We said, how, how on earth can you just invoice a department for something which is you have not uh, delivered? And the late deliveries uh, and others' deliveries were not according to specification. Uh, those were the irregularities which were found. Looking at the cases that are currently with the Director of Priority Crime Investigations, which is, of course, the Hawks, how far are they with regard to the arrests and bringing the officials to book? In fact, we have opened two criminal cases uh, with the Directorate of uh, Priority Crime Investigation, which is the, the Hawks. As per the recommendation of the Department of the Report, we want to ensure that losses uh, that were incurred by the, the state are covered so that funds can be just channeled towards service delivery and to service the poorest of the poor. Uh, it is their owners as the Hawks and Special Investigation Unit to, to, to work on this. But on us, uh, which is upon us, was to open investigation it was to open the criminal cases we have opened the the, the cases we they are with the, in the registry uh, they have our case, the case numbers we have everything as the department we are just waiting for the the the, the whole the siu just to to to, to familiarize the, themselves with the, the seven thick documents in fact these are the documents uh, of the findings, uh, they just need to familiarize themselves and just take it, take us through. They are the ones who can come and clarify on how they are going to deal with the matter. So, ABC, the officials have been suspended. Uh, what are the terms of their suspension? Uh, as of now, 13 officials have been asked they have been put to precautionary suspension.
regarding procurement of blankets and uh, PPEs. Unfortunately, I cannot uh, mention their names uh, as of now, but employees include uh, acting DDG, CFO, and the SMSCM manager, and staff chief directors with the uh, junior supply chain employees as well. Uh, as of now, we, we, we have done what we were supposed to do as the department, and speedily so, because within uh, two, two weeks, we have completed what was due to us. So as of now, they, we, we are waiting for other processes which will follow. The private sector uh, actors in this regard, uh, how far have you gone in terms of those investigations and has anyone been implicated? Uh, as of now, they, they have been there, but uh, we must uh, acknowledge that the, the employees have their rights, they have their rights. You cannot fire uh, employees without following processes because it, it, it is illegal and it can be a blow to the department itself. The law, law also favors uh, uh, employees that they can be suspended with full pay. Uh, it is not my decision that we pay them uh, just because we want to. However, we will make sure that the disciplinary process are dispensed with as, as soon as possible so that we put the matter uh, at, less, at rest. And we need to put this matter behind and focus on service delivery. Uh, the, the team, we have assembled the team, the team who works on the matter. Uh, the team is led by our HOD and the team uh, uh, members from our uh, employees from the premier's uh, office. Uh, they include the, the labor relations uh, manager, uh, the legal services. Uh, we said, let us throw in even the DPSA so that we might close whatever gaps we thought. So that's how we dealt with uh, this and we are sure we are co go going to the towards the correct direction as well with regard to this blanket scandal MEC 48,000 blankets were bought by your department of which just under 5,000 were actually distributed so firstly why did you feel the need to actually involve a middle person, uh, given this was about, you know, uh, relief for poor and uh, needy people, uh, why could your department not liaise directly uh, with the suppliers of these blankets in order to purchase them? Uh, for me, to, to say something about that, it, it is, uh, it can be premature, but as of we have some good and bad stories uh, about blankets. Uh, we have this huge number of blankets which was bought. But if you just break it down to 4,000 per district, which will cover the local municipality within each district. And remember, KZN has 11 districts. And the, the, the Deben district is into two. So it covers uh, almost 12 districts. As of now, we, we, we acknowledge that the, the distribution of blankets was not according to our plan. By the time it was said that it, there should be a, an investigation, our officials uh, had a fear uh, about distributing the blankets and did not know how do they deal about that because they might hand over the blankets and it might be uh, that might they might be committing another crime. 
So the most of the blankets were not distributed. And for your information, I went to escort where our homeless people were, were put under the shelter. We discovered that people were sharing in a, 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 a shelter, which is very cold, you know, areas, uh, very cold areas. They were shaking there without, the, they were having cardboards for them to sleep. And you could say, you could see that our employees had a fear to distribute blankets, wait for the investigation to be finalized. We hope as of now we have act on distribution of blankets and we are going to, towards the correct direction. We have identified a number of needy uh, people. In fact, under our uh, social responsibility, we have a number of uh, people who are needy, who, are, uh, uh, who have been claimed as needy. How many people are needy? The of the poor. How many people are needy? When did you do the needs analysis? How many homeless people are there in escort? Just from the issues that you have raised right now. Uh, as of now, with escort, we had 64 homeless people in escort alone, the area of escort. So in one shelter, there are a number of shelters, but I'm talking of one shelter I visited. Uh, with uh, the, the the people identified, need people identified, we have our uh, CNDCs, the community nutrition centers, where we have about 13,000 people who were identified through the poverty privatization index. They are identified as the poorest of the poor in Guazulu Natal. That's why they fall under community nutrition. Uh, we, we are expecting to, 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 do, to give them is when they come to fetch, when they come to get their food. We, we are uh, CYCs. To uh, that point. Child and you. If I may interject, you say you've identified 13,000 people, but you've bought 48,000 blankets for the entire province, as you said uh, by uh, your own analysis, about 4,000 per district. So how I do you tally you, those numbers? Be for me to I thought you would be waiting for me to finish. Uh, we have child care centers. Uh, it's unfortunate that I don't have a number right, as of now. But we have child and youth care centers in Guazulu Natal, the, the most needy areas where we, we, we need to distribute our PPEs and our blankets as well. On top of that, we had 2,400 uh, homeless people who were supposed to receive the, their blankets. And for the fact that we didn't have sponges as of now, uh, by the we were supposed to, to, to have at least two blankets for one person to put the, to, to lay uh, as a bed and one blanket for, for, for making her warm. So we have those 2,400 uh, with, with a Tewini during the first hours, uh, during the first uh, uh, term of the we registered about 3,000 in Etegwini of the homeless people in Etegwini alone. Let alone that the, the, this number fluctuates. We, we, you have these people today uh, in, the, in this uh, shelter. Tomorrow, they, they are all off. Uh, tomorrow, new are coming. So you have those numbers which fluctuate. Uh, with PPEs, we had, we had our own uh, uh, districts. As social development, we have a very vast uh, province, which is province of Kotan, and we have our districts and our offices, all our offices and all our employees in those offices deserve better and they should 
be provided with PPEs. That's why uh, uh, the number of our PPEs was uh, meant to, to, to service those. But as of now, uh, I can't talk much because to me, it was not quantified. In, in terms of uh, procurement, uh, the, the items were just given to me that this will be bought. These mm. items will be bought. And, and, and how many questions the, did you ask, MEC? Not made to me. you, you didn't ask questions okay. about that because it needed to be quantified. Because even by your own mathematics right now and the numbers you are giving me, we were far way off from 48,000 blankets and why there was a need to buy 48,000 blankets. But all the same, MEC, you didn't answer my question about why a middle person was actually engaged. Maybe if we can just answer that question oh. before we wrap up the interview. I want to get into that. Uh, I, we can't condone uh, corruption as the executive of, of KwaZulu Natal, led by the Honorable Premier Usihe Zigalan. We don't condone, condone, we can't condone that. Uh, we, condone, we condemn it in strong terms. It should be condemned, and they, we, it doesn't have any space in Wazul Nata. Uh, one, it was for the first time. That's why I'm saying good and bad uh, stories you can tell about the COVID-19 COVID government. You're not answering it my question. It was for the first time for the department. You're still it not answering a very simple pointed that. question, MEC, uh, which is... I'm answering it. Just wait for me. Oh, it's I'm very long-winded, MEC. We don't have time, unfortunately. I'm coming to it. Uh, it, for, it was for the first time that the department goes straight to, to retailers. Uh, we, 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 in the report, I've seen that uh, the blanket was bought for 250 and, uh, and 300 and... Um, the first one, 350, and the second one, it's up almost 180. So those were bought from retailers direct with, with no middlemen. So there were some blankets which were bought uh, through uh, service providers, which were which ran, ran to 500 rand each Why? and 550. Why? If you so have now clearly proven that you were able to go to the retailers yourself, Why? in other instances, did you engage a middleman? Why? Uh, I, I, I'm not, as an MEC, I'm not direct in the procurement. But that, that's why I'm saying they are good and best, the bad lessons. They can uh, give us answers. The relevant people give us answers in, as to why was that done. But for me, what I know, uh, due to, to, to guidelines, you, you, you don't give to one uh, uh, whoever when it comes to procurement. You should at least have a number of people which uh, uh, you have distributed them to, 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 to do the, 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 to provide the service. Uh, it would be unfair uh, for, for, for them to do that. Well, we unfortunately have to leave it there because we're hopelessly out of time. MEC, thanks for your time uh, this morning. Lontlan Tlakosa is the KZN MEC for Social Development, talking to us about the suspension of officials linked to irregularities in the procurement of personal protective equipment and blankets in the province. And that one, far from over, we'll keep our eye on it. All right, uh, we're going to get a quick uh, news update with